good morning. Uh, we're back with our tomato series, or actually, uh, hopefully during the course of the season, it'll be a vegetable uh, series, just things that are going on in your garden. Uh, during the week, we get asked lots of questions in our garden center, and one that came up uh, this morning, again, uh, was a customer who had tomatoes that were setting blossoms, but not creating fruit. And it's obviously, it's very frustrating. Last year, we had an enormous problem with this because of the high temperatures and high humidity at the same time and that will help abort fruit. Um, a tomato blossom is self-fertile, but it's not self-pollinating, and there's a distinction there, and it's really important that you know this. Um, while the blossom has everything in, uh, in its flower to create the fruit, it still needs help, and we usually got that help from bees. But if you don't have bees in your area and you don't have really good air movement, if you've got tomatoes that are protected against a wall or against the foundation of the house or something like that, you may not get good air movement. So from time to time, uh, and we usually do this early in the morning, sometime, I say early in the morning, uh, sometime between eight and 10 in the morning, we go out and it sounds really silly and goofy, but uh, if you'll just kind of tap at the tomato and give it a vibration, much like a, a bee would have done when it sat in that bloom and vibrated back and forth. This will help release the pollen uh, that's inside there and uh, help produce a fruit. So I hope that helps. Uh, you can go out and tap your tomatoes. Have a good day.